Struggling to find the right greeting card for the next occasion? Well, there's a GPT for that. Maybe. Let's find out. All right, we're going to be looking at this Artful Greetings AI card, GPT. Uh, so welcome. If you don't know, let me tell you what this is. My name is Jordan Wilson. I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream, podcast, free daily newsletter, helping everyday people learn generative AI to grow their companies, grow their careers. So please go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for the free daily newsletter. And every single day we do what's called an AI in five. Uh, so today we're going to be looking at this Artful Greetings AI card. Uh, so uh, you do need chat GPT plus to access all of these GPTs, um, in the GPT store from OpenAI. So I'm just, what I always recommend you doing is saying like, Hey, what do you do? What does this GPT do? So let's just say, uh, what do you do? Um, or let's, let's ask a little better. Uh, what does this GPT do? And please give me five real world use cases. All right. So uh, if you don't know much about GPTs, they're essentially anyone can go in and build them and create customized versions, tapping into chat GPT's capabilities. Presumably, this is going to be using Dolly 3 um, to create custom greeting cards. So pretty fun use case. So, uh, so like it says here, it says it specializes in creating custom greeting cards for various occasions. Uh, it can do personal celebrations, professional appreciation, seasonal greetings, special occasions, health and well-being. All right. So Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have some fun. Um, we're gonna create a happy birthday card for Billy Boy. So Billy Boy here is an imaginary, uh, an imaginary person that I talk about, who uh, used to be a crypto trader and then he was uh, an NFT expert, but now he's a Chat GPT expert. Uh, he's he's 19, uh, doesn't know what he's doing, and is trying to sell you a prompt book for like four thousand uh, dollars, right? So we're gonna say happy birthday to Billy and congratulate him on scamming you out of your money. All right, so. Let's go ahead and see if we can do it. So I'm going to say uh, I want to create a birthday card for Billy Boy. I'm going to say, what information do you need from me? Uh, that's one thing when working with a large language model, ask questions, right? That's how you get the most out of a large language model. Uh, so it says to create a personalized uh, greeting card for Billy, I need the following information. Occasion, I'll assume it's a happy birthday card. Yes. Theme, please choose a theme. Here are some suggestions. Lucky Charm. All right, so it theme, style, uh, name, Billy Boy. All right, cool. So let's do it. So yes, I'm going to say one, uh, happy birthday. So two, uh, we need to choose a, uh, we need to choose a theme. So our theme is going to be, uh, the theme is going to be uh, AI. Sure, we'll see how that works. Uh, three, I think, is style. So the style, uh, let's just say uh, whimsical. I can't spell typing live. Whimsical, fun, and bright colors. That's nothing, that can't be confusing, right? Uh, then number four, it says name. So yes, it is going to be Billy Boy. And let's actually say happy Billy Boy finally turned 20. Congrats, Billy Boy. You are now an expert. All right. So let's see how this works. We're providing simple information, not a lot of um, not a lot of uh, details. We're keeping it very open-ended. So now it is creating an image. Cool. So what we're going to do after this, we're going to try to do the exact same thing, uh, but we're going to see if we can upload an image of Billy Boy um, and to see if we can work that in. So let's see if that works. I'm going to go ahead. I'm just screenshotting uh, kind of a close up here of Billy Boy. All right. So we got our screenshot. So we're going to upload this, but let's see. So not, not great. Not bad. Uh, so some, some things that worked well, uh, not a lot worked well. So uh, it just says Bill Boy instead of Billy Boy. It got the wrong uh, year. I did say the 20th birthday. So a lot of times people don't know this is you can just ask again. So I'm going to say, let's try this again. Uh, you, um, you created Bill Boy instead of Billy Boy. So we're going to see if we can get this correct. Probably not. And uh, 22 instead of. 20, and I'm going to say, please try again. T 
take your time and go step by step. Uh, so we'll see if this uh, helps. I'm guessing not. So I'm going to say, uh, we're going to do our next one. I'm going to say, please try again and try and incorporate this photo of Billy Boy. So I'm wondering if essentially Dolly is going, or ChatGPT is going to use uh, vision to uh, analyze this image and then try to use Dolly to recreate and put a picture of Billy Boy, uh, which is fake, FYI. Billy Boy is just not an intern generated. All right. So at least when we went back, Hey, this is a good example. Work with large language models. Uh, just because it's wrong doesn't mean it can't get it right. So try again. And this isn't bad. Happy 20th birthday, Billy boy. We got it. We got our AI theme. Not too bad. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead now and say, please, uh, incorporate this photo. So we're going to see if we can get, you know, an illustration of Billy Boy on the actual card. So uh, our second our second variation did okay, right? Uh, it kind of combined the T and the H here, which is okay. Kind of got everything else, right? I wouldn't be mad at this if I was really giving Billy Boy a 20th birthday card. Uh, this would have saved me a lot of time if I were to try to create this in Canva or Photoshop or something like that. Um, and the output's actually not terrible. Uh, the first one, not too good. The second one, not bad. All right, so let's see if it can actually do this. All right, so it says, uh, sorry, this GPT is constructed to not open uploaded files. Darn, maybe next time. All right, uh, hey, at least this is a fun little thing, a fun little GPT that you can use. Let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe. But if you're going to use this, let me know. And if so, how? I'd love to see what you create. All right, I hope this is helpful. As a reminder, subscribe to youreverydayai.com, our free daily newsletter helping use generative AI to grow their companies, grow their careers, or just make a fun card. Thanks, y'all.